Um, I don't see a, much of a big problem with sort of synthesizing yeast, you know, genomes and sort of or studying sort of aspects of the human genome. And so, but I, and I leave it to the scientists to decide how quickly we're going to arrive at the end station, which is sort of the possibility of creating synthetic humans. But there's actually a lot of opportunities for this to solve big world problems. So uh, one thing is the climate change. But it turns out that we can use human engineering to help us address climate change. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption on meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. Uh, but people are not willing to give up meat. So here's the thought, right? So it turns out that we know a lot about, so there, we have these intolerance to, uh, so I, for example, I have milk intolerance. I'm, uh, and there, some people are intolerant to crayfish. So possibly we can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine protein. So that's something that we can do through human engineering. We can kind of uh, ad possibly address really big world problems through human engineering. 